South Korean defense contractor Hanwha announced that it has demonstrated the lethality, mobility, and survivability capabilities of the Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicle in Now Adeba, Poland as part of the Polish Army Test Program. Hanwha says the Redback is one of the defense equipment that could be procured by the Polish Armed Forces under the Framework Contract, signed in July 2022, which also includes the supply of 672 K9 self-propelled howitzers and 980 K2 main battle tanks. Polish Defense Minister Mariusz Blaszczak noted that domestically made Borsak fighting vehicle is a priority, but the country needs to diversify its supplies and replace the outdated IFVs as soon as possible. When choosing weapons, we follow the voice of experienced soldiers. The modern Redback features a range of futuristic and innovative technologies such as the composite rubber track, iron fist active protection system, and iron vision helmet mounted situation awareness system. Redback's main armament is an MK44S Bushmaster 230mm cannon capable of firing all natures of 30mm by 173mm ammunition in service with 19 nations, including the US, the UK, and other allies and NATO forces. The Redback is a new South Korean infantry fighting vehicle, IFV. It was developed by Hanwha Defense. It was specially designed to meet an Australian Army requirement. The chassis was rolled out in 2020 and this new IFV with turret was first publicly revealed in 2021. The Redback is an advanced, well-armed and well-protected vehicle. It could be among the most protected IFVs in the world today. It weights a whooping 42T and could be classified as a heavy IFV. Armor of the Redback was developed in cooperation with Plasson. Hull and turret provide all-round protection from 30mm armor-piercing rounds. This tracked vehicle was designed from the start to survive mine blasts and improvised explosive devices. It withstands blasts equivalent to 10kg of TNT anywhere under the hull or under any track location. Crew and passengers are seated on blast energy absorbing seats. The Redback was also designed from the start to be fitted with Israeli Elbit's Iron Fist Active Protection System. It defeats incoming anti tank rockets and missiles. There is a coaxial 7.62 mm machine gun, as well as remotely controlled weapon station. It can be armed with a 12.7 mm heavy machine gun, 7.62 mm general purpose machine gun, or 40 mm automatic grenade launcher. There is a launcher with two Spike LR-2 anti-tank guided missiles. It has a range of 5.5 kilometers. It was estimated that this missile penetrates more than 900 millimeters of steel armor behind explosive armor. That's sufficient to defeat most of the main battle tanks. When not in use the launcher with missiles is retracted into the turret. This armored vehicle is operated by a crew of three and can carry eight dismounts. Troops enter and leave the vehicle via the rear power operated ramp with integral doors. The Redback is an advanced vehicle, equipped with various sensors. It has an advanced iron vision situational awareness system with helmet slaved system which allows the crew to see through the armor. The Redback uses an unspecified engine, though developers claim that it is a proven unit. The Redback has an advanced suspension which does not use torsion bars. This allowed to free up more space in the interior for advanced mine blast suppression systems.